We can use the foliage painter in Unreal Engine to add trees, rocks, flowers, and other elements to the landscape. However, in this process, something we have to keep in mind is frame rate. And uh, so a, a video that you might watch on YouTube or um, uh, on your TV would have a frame rate of about 30 to 60 frames per second. However, in uh, Unreal Engine, the frame rate that uh, we, we really want to strive for in our VR experiences ought to be higher than that at, at around anywhere from 70 frames per second up to 90 at least. And uh, a lot has been written on frame rate and simulation sickness. Um, the basic idea is that when the frame rate drops significantly in a VR experience, it can cause the viewer to start to feel some um, um, uh, queasiness because there's a, a kind of a disconnect between what they're seeing and what their body is experiencing as it moves through space. So um, um, the reason I bring this up is that as we're getting ready to add our elements to the landscape, we, we want to make sure that we're not overdoing it. Uh, so um, there are some really interesting props in here with um, grass and um, flowers, which are super detailed and animated. Uh, and, and we can use those things, but we want to just do it sparingly so that we're not overwhelming our computer's processor, its memory, uh, and uh, its graphics card. So um, let's go ahead and uh, let me remove this one. I'll just delete this stuff that I just put in there. And I'll show you how we can paint some trees onto the landscape. So again, we just go up to the mode panel and then click on the foliage uh, button here. And then we can drag a tree over here. This is uh, hill tree underscore O2. I just dragged it into this spot here. And we can set our brush to be bigger or smaller here with brush size. And now I'll just drag across the landscape. Uh, let me show you over here by the water. Drag down. Um, a couple things that are <laughs> worth noting here are that, um, first of all, we obviously don't want to paint our trees onto the water. And um, so I'll show you how to change that. The other thing is that I've got some pretty steep hillsides. And you can see that the trees are leaning way over to the side as I paint them in. And uh, I'm going to show you how to change that as well so that they go straight up and down instead. Um, the first thing is, um, uh, let's deal with a water issue. So, um, oh, it, yeah, it's up here. So under filters, we really want to only apply the trees to the landscape. So let's uncheck static meshes. So now um, this uh, water plane is a static mesh. It's not a landscape. So when we paint across, uh, now that that's unchecked, it, it will um, leave this area alone. And let's go down to, where is it, um, for placement. Right now, it's um, a set to align to normal. And what that means is that um, uh, there are kind of imaginary lines coming off of the surface of the landscape. So um, when you align to normal, it's always going to want to put the trees in a, in, a, in a way that is perpendicular to that surface. But if we just uncheck that box, the trees are going to be put in vertically. So let's get rid of the trees that we've put in so far. Um, and I can do that, I think, with the selection tool. Let's see here. That's going to take a minute. Um, let me try the lasso select and see if this will work. OK, there we go. And I'll press the delete key on the keyboard to get rid of them. And now let me go back to the paintbrush and drag in. And you can see that, um, I guess because the landscape does extend down into the water, it still did put a couple trees uh, into the water, but, but just a couple. Uh, you can see now that the trees are more vertically oriented. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video for a moment, and I'm going to paint in uh, on the rest of the landscape um, some additional trees. Something that you'll notice as you start to paint your trees in, if you use these same particular ones that I'm using, is that uh, they disappear when they get to be far away. And that's because of how the level of detail is set up for these trees. 
So let me give a, an illustration here. So I already mentioned earlier on in the video that we have to be careful to not overwhelm the computer's resources. And um, so one of the ways that we can reduce the demands on the, the processor, the memory, and the graphics card is by having Unreal show lower poly versions of our meshes as they get to be farther away in space. And um, we're not going to get too uh, into detail with this, but just basically understand that it's, um, uh, it's very common in assets that you download for there to be different levels of detail so that, yeah, um, you can see that for LOD0, uh, it has, um, this asset has about 1200 triangles, but when it gets to be um, the third level of detail, there are only 300 triangles. Uh, and this particular asset, this tree, is set up to disappear entirely as it gets to be farther away.